Okay, it's Artifax Mars. We'll try it again. It's 12.03 a.m., so a little bit on the tired side. We'll see how it does. Uh, Pond Queen 3. That's a little unusual, to say the least. So. See, it's trying to trick me into letting it swap queen so it can disrupt my. I won't be able to castle. Not gonna fall for it. Well, now we have classic center battle. Nothing unusual here. Alright, uh, we'll go ahead and put Bush upon, and go ahead and take some night. I'm not sure what purpose of that was, but. We'll play the white Bishop out and get up where it's putting pressure on that uh, bishop pawn, king bishop pawn, blacks. See, I play for development and for good pawn structure early in the game. And the computer really doesn't do that as much. Now it's going to have a little dilemma as to where to put its knight. Because it doesn't really have a safe place if I push that pawn on it, which I think it will. Well, so, night's right back where it started from, and it gives me an advanced pawn, and a really strong presence of those bishops. So let's go ahead and centralize my knight. That's probably uh, a good thing for it because it's muting my uh, bishop there, so I may actually have to go ahead and swap, and I think I will. Well, this is trouble for it. As conventional wisdom says, 
All right. Uh, we'll go ahead and take one night. But since my queen is under attack by its queen, I don't think we'll do that. I think what we're going to do instead is put screws on it. Like this. Well, I'm going to put my queen over there and... Well, you, you whore. All right. Smart move on part of the computer. I wasn't thinking castle. So, I might see if I can trick it into letting me have a sacrifice here. This is a very dangerous move I'm doing. It could uh, wind up killing me. And it didn't fall for it. So more power to it. Uh, but more to the point, I'm going to do something, something rather reckless. Well, maybe I won't. All right, for now, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to bring out my rook, and we're going to go after it on the king's side. Well, my eventual goal, like I said, is to get that on King's side to uh, screw it over. It didn't fall for my uh, little trick. But it's getting in deeper and deeper in trouble. So we'll go ahead and. Put my work up here. Well, all righty. I don't get too much of a choice here, so. I'll just go ahead and swap queens. I really did not expect that. But I'm not one to break off. I don't really don't like breaking off an attack if I don't have to. So we'll proceed. That's not good. That's only an assumed pin with that uh, bishop. 
on the night, I can still move the night legally, but I'm just afraid it'll wind up uh, nailing my rook. So, that's not necessarily a good thing. I'm going to try something a little different. I see a, an opening here for to cause it trouble. By attacking that rook. At least not immediately. In fact, it uh, basically screwed me. But maybe not. Because, look at this. So, I'm going to nail that rock. And... I'm going to try and do a little bit more here. Well. I need to think about this for just a minute. Because. I think what we'll do. Is just go ahead and protect that. Here's what it wants. It wants a white bishop, basically. I'm probably going to get my ass kicked doing this, but... No? Alright. Well, I didn't expect that, so... Now we're down to the nitty gritty. It's down to the equivalent of full rook. So. I gotta watch out for that black bishop. Because he's a troublemaker. Well, I'm hatching a plan here, which it just screwed me on. What I was going to do was I was going to trade Rook for the Bishop, and when it takes my Rook, I go up there and check its king and grab the Knight. Then I'm off a full Rook free and clear, but that didn't happen. Can't always get what you want. Unfortunately, that's the way it is. So now we're going to start working on its pawns. That was a mistake. Not that I can do anything about it, but that's not a good move. Well... We'll just go ahead and remove that pawn from the board. Well, 
There are times when I seriously hate nights, and this is one of them. And I was trying to protect the night by keeping my uh, rook off that one square. And that bishop still controls things, but things are just going to get worse from here on in. I'm just going to start marching these pawns towards Queenie Square. And that is going to flummox it. Eventually it'll have to uh, do something. I don't know what. Alright. Uh, actually, I can get that knight now. So... No, I can't get the knight. Well, that's going to get more and more miserable for it as time goes on. Because eventually it won't be able to resist. And I'm going to give it something else to think about because it's time to get my king in, into the game. All right. Well... That's enough of these histrionics. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm actually fairly notorious for doing this type of thing. Watch and learn. Well, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to lose my pawn. This is the thing. So, I basically traded my uh, one rook for its bishop to get that bishop off the board and get the quit causing trouble for me. Now I'll shove that pawn at night. And we're going to begin eating pawns. I'd love to get the knight off the board, obviously. But... Well, we're going to go ahead and check its king. And we'll guard that pawn. And that did not work out. Oh, well. Yeah, I blew it. I can't believe it didn't take 
the uh, trailing pawn with its king. So we we'll go ahead and finish off its pawns. Pretty much, they're, they're freaking history. Only thing you can hope for at this point is some sort of a stalemate. Because there's no way it can win. There is no way you're going to win this one like this. So, unless the other person does something incredibly stupid. I'm going to go ahead and move that knight. So now I can basically just march in with my pawn virtually unmolested. I mean, what what can you do now? Uh, absolutely nothing. I mean, it can harass my king to an extent. Which is only going to cause me to move closer And that's fine. Well, that night is really starting to piss me off. So here's what we're going to do, this will end it, it no longer has the ability to win the game, not with just one knight. So, he is gone, and pawn queens easily. Now we get down the, now we, uh, we'll just start denying him territory and bring over my king. Not much left to do here, I mean, you're not going to. This is the end of the game right here. Only it doesn't know how to resign. So there you have it. Uh, that was a pretty wild one. I may have to bo boost this up a few levels. I don't know. It's almost too easy. But it has what my bought a few times, so I don't know about that. That's it. Thanks for watching, and we'll play another chess battle at some point. I'm on Facts of Mars.